stuff, you know, that I'm not going to use again. You know, stuff like that. But I, oh, I'm, not, I'm running low on gas. God, I gotta go get gas right now before I go to the dump. I've been sitting here running the car. I had no idea how low I was. God, if I run out, I am fucked. This car might not ever run again. Get to dandy without a fucking clunking out. I'm not kidding, man. I'll suck stuff up from the gas tank into my engine and be done. For just being like. This is stress. This is definite stress. I wasn't paying attention, I was getting these stupid cinder blocks out of them. Well, not stupid, they're, you know, we're using them for something, but I was not paying attention. It's probably alright. I should have just turned the car off, but I wanted to warm it up. It's really bad to run out of gas on an old car like this. You won't start it, it won't start again. I had to have a towed in, suck it up into one of the filters, um, cost me money that I do not spend. Bad. Bad, Peter. I remember that when we were in the car. I'm like, I'm low on gas, but I'm not that low. The light's not on. You know, I was driving back in that direction, I think, or maybe we were coming from that direction, but I was like, maybe I should get gas. This car is just such a wreck. Nightmares about this car. Well, those cinder blocks are great. They're cheap, right? They're very useful. Um, but boy, they weigh a lot. You would think that they would figure out a way to like make them lighter, like put vermiculite in them or something. Or, you know, like pool crete is real light. But I bet vermiculite and stuff like that, that, that kind of stuff is not cheap. So it's easier just to make them like that, heavy. But I was like, uh, and I gotta, I gotta get to the fucking transfer station before 12. I'll make it. this stuff in the back of the car for so long and going to pick up um, Vishla Bootsy and I'm driving some miles on the highway so the guy doesn't have to drive as much he's still driving a ton he's uh, staying in um, Cleveland overnight or something and then driving from it's a long drive from Utah. It's easier to put a dog on the plane, but nobody's shipping dogs right now. It's weird. Like Delta used to be the one. They had the best track record. It's pretty safe. 
it is. It's pretty safe. But uh, American is doing it, but their restrictions on like weather, like cold weather, are just 45. Come on, it has to be above 45. That's a little extreme. A, it's a dog. It's not like they keep the dog on the tarmac for, you know, hours on end. The, uh, you know, the, it's, it's, listen, it'd be freezing in the cargo hold, but it's heated. It's climate controlled. Okay, I made it. Thank God. That stresses me out anytime like that happens. Be right back. Ow. God, the ba gas pump hurts, man. Seriously, that is fucking get, gonna be out of control, but what can we do? Fucking, could you imagine being in Ukraine? God, having that dick. Something, I hope the Russians do, you know, there's people that do not like Putin at all, know what he's about. You know, he has a, uh, he has a guy that keeps trying to run against him and Putin poisons, poisons him and shit. You know, it's just like, Putin's a loser, man. He's a loser because he, he cheats and he cheats by killing people and stuff. He reminds me of somebody that we have a political office that had this attitude of like, as long as I win, it's okay. You know, you can lie. His Putin's lie about like, oh, he's, um, Nazifying or whatever, like the president of that country is Jewish. So it's like, it's like we have a political party that vilifies the other party. You know, it's just a fact, and that's sort of what Putin is doing. You know, anybody that you don't like, it's okay to vilify. So it's it's um, Nazis and drug addicts. Pathetic. It does. It, remind, it reminds me some of somebody alive. I don't know how our world. I don't know how our country has ended up like this, and like, like people don't even realize what they're doing when they do that. Like, uh, like Michelle Obama. I remember her saying something: "When they go low, we go high." I don't know if that's possible. certainly don't want to stoop to their level. I mean, there's no, like, you can just lie. You put out a lie. It's, you know, the more false information you put out, the 
better for you it is. Who would want to have that job that long anyway? How long has he had it? Like years. Like absolute years. And now he wants to still hold on to it. It's real weird. He wants to turn it back into the USSR, which is real strange. Russia's already huge. I don't know why they need more. He's the richest man in the world. Why does he need more? I don't know. I, I just like what he's broken. Clearly, he's a broken dude. Um, you know, like, a leader of a country that has, like, no compassion is just, like, something we just had recently. I, I'll tell you, I just really like I, the whole vilify the opponent and this nastiness is just unbelievable. Yeah, I don't ever remember my, you know, the GOP, the Republicans being like that until as of recent. They start doing it with Obama, which is weird. Because Obama's like they couldn't they couldn't say Obama you know he's married to uh, it doesn't on his wife and has two children they could they couldn't vilify him on like you know being a philanderer or, you know anything like that so they you know went after his wife with real real shit it's like stuff that they're like they're worried about worries them a little bit too much they think about it a little bit too much. Cares. It's not true. It wasn't true about Obama or his wife, but the, the, you know, it's just like who cares? They did. They did go high. They were like, whatever. It's ridiculous nonsense. You know, you wouldn't you wouldn't hear like Mitt doing anything like that, but or you know, somebody like John McCain was never doing anything like that, but. There's certainly an element on social media that just like, was, uh, you know, they could have done, they could have said something like, well, that's just not true. You know, like McCain saying to uh, the woman that said that Obama was a, uh, I thought McCain was great. They vilified him too. War hero. Like, you know. God, it's just unbelievable. It's like this, like, um, like somebody's saying, like, Putin's better than, you know, from the United States, Putin's a better president than our president. Whoa, you got, you have some serious issues. Like they, they look at the, the person that kills journalists and, and oh, that's like good. It's a, he's a dictator. How they're like kind Joe Biden with a dictator. Joe Biden is not a pushover. He's not. The stuff that they said about Biden, of course they attacked his age. It's absurd. I, you could see Biden during the campaign and everything and know that he had no dementia. He doesn't. Old Joe Biden, that's it. But no, they have to say it. even like people that were backing Bernie, that's the real sick shit. Like, I'm not talking to a friend of mine because she kept saying it. I'm calling him sleepy, you know? Like, please, please. I think he got that nickname because he's always going home to his kids on the train and going home and coming back, going home and coming back, so he'd fall asleep during. So screwed up. Yet yeah, we had a president that would sleep in until 11, you know, and lie, and then get up and lie, start his lies. Horrible. Listen to pundits on TV about what he took advice from opinionated TV shows. It's pathetic. Pathetic. That's the one person that I've heard, him and Pompeo. That when this happened, they were saying how great he was, Putin was. Uh, that'll blow back in your face, idiots. He was trying to spin it a new way. The last person was trying to spin it a new way, saying 
this was his approach to spin it in a way. He was saying, well, it's a shame. A lot of people are going to die. This would have never happened on my watch. Oh, really? Because you gave Putin a pass constantly. Helsinki? Oh, my God. I was outraged at Helsinki when he, you know, said that he believed Putin over our own uh, FBI and shit. That was outrageous. I, I'd never seen anything more ridiculous than my, on, a, on the world stage. He, he's like, you know, why would I not believe Putin? I don't know, because he's a liar. He's a known liar, a killer. He loved him. He, he loves him. Like, he's, clearly Putin must have something on him. And I think it's more than just owing money. You know, I think it's more than that. But, I mean, it could just be that. But, I, I, I doubt it. That was, that's their whole deal, is get stuff on people and hold it, hold it over them. You know, kind of control them. He was in Moscow. That's the rumors. He was in Moscow and he was uh, staying in that hotel. And he had, it would be so easy with that dude to just get like real beautiful prostitutes. You know, just you could just hire some model that was down on her luck, models that were down on their luck or something. I mean, Russian women, like there's a lot of beautiful Russian women. Ukrainian women too, and I, that's a fact, man. I saw last night on TV, I saw, um, I was watching, and there was somebody that looked like Destiny with a gun, right? And so I started looking for the picture. I started typing in stuff like, because um, I wanted to show Destiny, like, Ukrainian uh, women with something like that, but man, all these pictures of the Ukrainian women came up that were just like, a lot of them look like Destiny, to tell you the truth. So that's, that's a common, like, black hair, pretty facial structure. Hello, it's gonna be way. You got it? Um, it's a lot of... Destiny sort of looks Russian, too. She looks pretty. She could be anything, really. It's that mix. It's that mix, you know. Italian, Puerto Rican. You mix anything. It's sort of the truth. If you, if you mix any ethnic shit, you end up with a beautiful person. You can take, like, sometimes you can just take two non-attractive people, and if they're you're mixing ethnic stuff, it ends up being like, wow, look at that. But sometimes it's just, you know, it's an attractive person, an attractive person, so attractive person. Not that it is the most important thing in life, it's just sort of like an observation. You know, I think attractive people get it easier. Not all the time. Scientifically proven stuff. But like who are the who, who's gonna get hired? The attractive person or the hideous person? It's always an attractive person. Pretty much. Oh, I can go back further. I'm trying to get everything I can in it. A lot of stuff you have to use the water.
because uh, Putin is a dick. A total dick, you know? Wait, why is that? That's what I thought. It's not that much. It's better. Get it out of here, man. You know those small green propane canisters? What do I do with those? Blacks are amazing, like how cheap they are. It's amazing. What are they making for that price? And ship them. You know, they got to ship them. They're heavy. Um, they make uh, blocks that you can build with that are like plastic and stuff now. They go together like Legos. I'm pretty sure they weigh a lot less. I just never see them. It's not mainstream, but one of my one of my friends' girlfriend's dad was like invented something like that. Um, that was in the '80s, early '80s, but it's still not mainstream. Clearly, maybe those are some you know much more expensive, so people don't want to use them. Cinder blocks were less than two bucks a piece. They, I can't remember what this they paid for those, but they weren't they weren't much. It's just moving them around, is sort of a bitch. Seriously, they're not they're not light. If they could lighten a cinder block by using perlite or something, or even foam. Then that it has something. I think they could use like foam. Like if you made a cinder block and then you put like little foam BBs in it to take up half the volume, it would weigh pretty much half the weight. You know, you could mix in a, a polymer so that it sticks to the foam. I don't know. I don't know why they're still making them like that. They probably make those things in China and ship them in or something. I think I remember hearing uh, years ago like they were finding in Haiti, um, you know, cinder blocks that had like uh, nuke waste in them and stuff. Like it was just like they were radioactive and shit. That was years ago. 
Everything's so tightly controlled now. Well, not in Haiti. Just, you know, that country doesn't have money to be checking anything. They have stuff coming into our ports that's, you know, detecting anything that's in there. Can't just like get it in here, that's for sure. I mean, a lot of stuff is uh, getting in here, but it's not that. God, Putin's a dick. What a loser. What a jerk. Seriously, what a pathetic loser. I saw some the children of the billionaires, the oligarchs, like working, pitching about the thing that's happening in Ukraine. Like Deripaska, or like Deripaska's daughter, uh, someone else. They were really high up people. But they might just be freaking out because they know that their parents' money can be taken, their money can be taken. Maybe not. Young people have them uh, have more of a tendency to be idealistic. You know, that's what it is. I got to uh, go home. That was moving the center blocks. Just fucked up my hip a little bit. I took a celebrax. I did that. I gotta go home. Just chill out for a little bit. Make sure the hip doesn't start screwing up. It was screwing up. I took a celebrax, but uh, and then I gotta work more. Doing some stuff. And it's not too bad out. It's sort of it's cold, but there's not a lot of snow. I can probably do the dummy launcher. If it's, if it's wet, then it screws up dummy launcher. But if there's a lot of snow, then snow gets into the, the dummy, and then I can't do it. But I think we could get some more trees for sure. Definitely get a, uh, some reverse trees done with it. i live stream it. Um, I did get a staple gun yesterday, which was, which is awesome. We got something coming up. We need a staple gun to pull. It's pretty cloth tight. Um, without that, like I, I was using like push pins and then painting them green. You know, look at this person can has to go above the speed limit so important. Like, I'm going five miles over the speed limit. They're going 15. They're going 15 higher than me, so they're going 20 miles over the speed limit. What's the point? Like, you don't have to get somewhere that fast. That's why. Somebody's sick of slowing down because it's a 45 mile an hour speed limit now. So now they slow down to like 55. Now now they're speeding up to go real fast again. They changed their mind. Boy it's nice to have that crab out of there. Most of that stuff was from the barn. That barn looks totally different. It still needs work, but it's so much better. That'd be the place to put up a big green screen. We got upstairs. The hayloft. 
just have it roll down somehow, put it back up, and not amused. Use sandbags to pull it tight or something. Something like that. I don't know. Do something. We got stuff coming up, though, that's for sure. So, Dennis, my neighbor Dennis, is a good guy. I love my neighbors, man. My neighbors are pretty cool. That's like, um, there's an advantage to like living around people because like if something's funky, your neighbor will notice. That's happened many times. Like, hey, what are you doing over there? About my place. I mean, you know, like some kids stopped today. They were like, hey, how you doing? You know, Peter Kane and they uh, See any Bigfoot, you know, like that, that's fine. But like when people get out of their cars, that does it. Those were neighbor kids, I think they live around here. I think they live up the hill from me. But uh, nice, normal, normal kids. Um, meaning like young adult. Um, but like you get out of the car, people have gotten out of the car and walked in my neighbor's yard. I'm like, what are you doing there? You're gonna, you know that person's yard? No, well, you better get out of there. They have a dog, they have a gun. You're trespassing. What are you doing there? You know? You're looking like a stalker, too. You should never, never knock on anybody's door, go around. Well, look, he's in the backyard training a dog. Yeah, I'm working. I'm working. What's up? Oh yeah, thanks. The last video. That was, um, I did that sort of fast. Um, I wanted to make sure that I was understanding how to import uh, cinema mode. Hey, Shirley. Uh, and I do. I get it. Y you, ha you have to uh, process those videos before they'll import. And they'll come up, like you'll hit photos and you're going to import from your camera if you process them in the phone. There will be the original and the processed one. The original and processed one. You do the second one. And it really works good if you just do one import one video at a time you got like no problems that's that's what i figured out last night when i uh, upload or imported that shit i gotta get water i'll be right back i'm gonna leave the car running no i'm not this gas is real expensive i'll be right back it's good it's gonna get really expensive because putin's a dick i'm gonna put on a mask Pandemic's still going on. I don't give a shit. I'll tell I'll tell you something. This is the truth. Ever since I started wearing the mask and using hand sanitizer, I don't get colds. I do not get colds. You know, it's really weird. You saw what post?
and shit in here. I guess I'll go check my oil because we've got to get on the road tomorrow. Those V, those Vishlas, God, they're good looking. I like them, they're friendly, man. It's a friendly, friendly dog. Hey, where's my, where's the water I want? Hang on, let me get this. They're just goofballs. Typical bird dogs. Harmless, pretty much. No dog is harmless, but... Oh my god, spring water? Terrible. And look, I just grabbed it. That's... Distilled, it'll taste fine. Spring water's like drinking garbage. Garbage water. It's just like pond water on it. Yeah, it's really disgusting. Every time we buy that, it's like, what is this? This tastes like shit. You know, um, dead zero water filter. Our our water tastes like shit, but if you use a zero water filter, it tastes fine. I have a water water filtration system I haven't hooked up, you know, we got real hard water. I just gotta go down there and do it. Because I've had too much on my plate. So I'm gonna do it. It'd be helpful. Helpful for our everything, drinking our clothes. Well, I don't care about my clothes. All that kind of shit. Talking about the destiny. She cares about her clothes. I don't. I, just, I wear them. You know, that's it. Try to get as much done as I can before the dog gets here, because the dog I still got Mur. Mur Mur's here for a little while on. Mur's doing great though. It takes a lot easier with him. He's way less of a pain in the ass, that's for sure. Uh okay, what are we gonna do? I guess I should. Is there a trash can? There are trash cans out here. Son of a bitches. Is they all in the trash can next time? So I wonder if they'll dump some of this crap. No, they don't put trash cans out. Oh, they're way over there? Well, that's bullshit. Well, let me check the oil on them. 
still dump some of the stuff in our shit. Pitching ladies here. Probably with her, her buddy. You know, huge protest here in South Florida. Going on all weekend. For what? Um. Well, those U Ukrainians seem like they're pretty much tough as shit. Like, you know. If, if the um, statistics are true, what the Ukrainian government's putting out about what they've destroyed of the Russians, they're doing pretty good. Um, I don't know if that's, can, you know, if they're putting that out as propaganda. I, I know that they've destroyed some stuff, clearly. Um, but I mean, like the, they had, like, a bunch of tanks that they supposedly destroyed. Now, this is possible because, you know, we've been giving them stuff. If they have stingers and javelins, I believe javelins are used for tanks and stingers are used for helicopters. If they had plenty of those, they could wreak havoc. Yeah, they... They want help from the U.S. I bet they're getting help from the U.S. They've had help from the U.S. They need more. They really want help from NATO, but NATO, we cannot help them, and we cannot go in there with flyovers and stuff. We can't get in a war with Putin. He's a nut. He's, he's, he's insane. Um... They're getting financial aid from us. Give them as many stingers as they want. Give them as many javelins as they want. Get them over the border. Give it to them and tell them destroy as many tanks and helicopters as you can. Make it really expensive for Putin. Shoot every Russian you see because they're in your country and they're trying to take your shit. So, I, you know, I've seen pictures of like, It'd be like a guy in a down coat with an AK-47, you know? It's fucking chilling. It just... He, you know, Putin doesn't have enough. He doesn't have enough. Putin's probably going to be on TikTok soon. They need to bleed out Russia, make it all. They showed men using their bodies and standing in front of tanks. Who? And they, they'll just run them over. The Russians will just run them over. What are you, what are you talking about? Putin has demented, it makes me sick seeing stuff happen. I'll tell you what's demented is our past president singing his praises. What a jerk. What a jerk. That's disgusting. And then and then he goes to try and spin it a little bit. He says, you know what he says? He says, this, this would have never happened if I was in office. Oh, really? Because you set this thing all up. He should be. He should be tried at the Hague for all the people that died because of, you know, what he was saying during the pandemic, too. He's, he's treasonous. He's, he's un-American. And he's got followers? Why? Why? Let's see how the oil's doing.
all the time, man. Torrance is like mad. Another quarter of oil bites the dust. I'm gonna go over here and throw some of the stuff in the trash. Oh, 10 bucks from home. That was nice. Oh, uniquities. The Mormons just stopped by, talked for a bit and asked for, uh, and asked for the brochure. They have had a picture in your collage with Jesus holding a small dino. No way. We wish. We wish. Wouldn't that be nice? That'd be great. They, they should do that, like in all their churches and shit. And pictures of Jesus holding the dinosaur. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. You know, when the car's just, it's nasty. It just gets nastier. Because it's like, there's all this crap back there. I just like, it doesn't matter. We're just going to pick up a dog. But it's like, pet stuff in there for like, Looks like I was gonna keep it for something, but I'm a firm believer in if it wasn't used, get rid of it. Like 
I am not a hoarder, that's for sure. I do, I do need stuff, the, the little baseball bat. I do need stuff to make art. This is true, but... Most of the time, if I don't use it after a while, unless it's something of value, like monetary value, I'm gonna throw it away. Because it's just too easy to collect shit and just keep collecting shit. You know, it's just like... Ow! That sort of hurt. and a Chevy Cobalt. Boy, I was stressful because you know you Shut the fuck, sit down, 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 you know? You know who else is horrible? They're using Mike Pompeo and Trump and Tucker Carlson on Russia's state TV, you know? What is their deal? You know? I don't know. believe in cleaning cars, especially when they're like work vehicles, which this is.
gas before we get on the road. But it, wow, look at all those trails up there. I've never noticed those before. There are a lot of trails up there. Like tons. I gotta show Destiny and then shoot. Wow. Um, I'll, I'll tell you something, PL. This, this is the truth. Vegemite is not as good as Marmite for sure. Not even close. Like not even. It's not. It's easier to deal with. I mean the marmite jar, like the little kid, like, you know. It's like glue. But I mean, taste wise and it's just not. It's not even close. Marmite was first and then they invented Vegemite a poor fact simile. Um, it works. It's it's what I could buy at the store here. It's Vegemite. They don't sell Marmite. They got your freaking Heinz beans, though. They do have that. They have your Heinz salad dressing or whatever it is. It's like a sweet man. I don't like that. It's too sweet. I'll tell you what's good. If you could find it, there's... It's called Durkies, and Durkies is like a tangy mayonnaise mustard sauce. Not, I'm not comparing it to Kewpie. It's not like Kewpie. Kewpie is a tangy mayonnaise. You know? um, does Heinz beans though? That that's just like a really weak baked bean. You know, like it's not like a like over here, like we have baked beans and they're like sort of in a heavier sauce for sure. They're different. Uh, and it's pork and beans. They throw some pork in here. Pork's always good. I know, I know you all are really into pork, but you're really into fish and chips for some reason. I don't know what the deal is with that. Fish and chips is great with vinegar. Whenever I get that, if I'm someplace, like, I'll just drench it in vinegar. That's, that's how I like it. I like the fries drenched in vinegar. I like the, the fish drenched in vinegar. Um, I'm a big fan of vinegar. But I'll, I'll put chili. I don't know if you know what chili is, PL, but chili. Do you have any idea what chili is? It's not a stew and it's not a soup, right? But I will put um, vinegar and chili. You know what chili is, PL? Do you know? Do you know what it? You ever heard of that? Let's find out if PL knows what chili is. I don't think she does. To a bus stop. PL, do you know what chili is? Stop talking about your boobs and answer my question. Yeah, but it's probably terrible, right? Do you know what a do you know what a chili dog is? Oh, welcome, Daniel. Welcome. Did do, do do you know uh, black bread is like Boston brown bread? I think. Um, right. Boston brown bread is good. Yes, chili dog. No, they don't. 
Come on, stop making up shit. You don't even know what I'm talking about. You're probably chili dogs. Yeah, I'm just gonna say I know what it is. Just to fuck with his head. Right? You don't know what a chili dog is. You, you wouldn't know what a chili dog was if it was hit you in the face. That's a figure of speech. Do, do, you, do you know what figure of speeches are? Do, do you have those there in merry old England? You ever heard of a figure of speech? You know what that is, P.O.? Toxic saw my chili that I cooked. Yes, this is Toxic's packing her up. Yes, she knows what a figure of speech is. Toxic, they don't have anything there except soccer that they call chili and cinnamon roll. I've never heard of such a thing. I believe you, but really? That's what they have? They'll have like chili and a cinnamon roll? That's a strange combo, but I'll tell you what's even a stranger combo is chicken and waffles. Destiny says it's good. I mean, I don't think it would be bad. There was a place, Stroud's, that would do that in Kansas City. It was very popular. Like, it wasn't like going to IHOP and getting chicken and waffles. It was like a big deal. Let's see what PL's talking about. They have Smarties, which are like M&M's, but better. You don't even know what an M&M is. Stop. I know what a Smartie is, and they're not better, and you know it. They're smaller, I think. Smarties suck. You know what I saw? You know what I saw? God, what was it? I was just at the counter, and I saw candy I never see. Um, God, now I can't even remember what, what, what it was, because it's one of those that, like, you never see, and then I saw it. I was like, uh, what about Baby Ruth? Sugar Baby? It's a sugar baby. And I'm like, what the fuck? Where are we? Are we in a time warp? Is this 1967? Like, I'll eat a baby Ruth. I mean, I don't eat a lot of candy anymore, but I would in the past, but I preferred Snickers. Snickers was like a meal. Baby Ruth was good. A Clark bar? Once in a blue moon, I would eat it just for shit. You know, like, Look at that, I'm, I'm eating a Clark bar. Um, chick a stick is a weird name. PL, do you know what a chick a stick is? You can't know what that is. Do they have chick a stick there? You know what a chick a stick is? Our chocolate is way better. Oh, come on. Please. You know that's not true. Really, PL? Do you know what a chick a stick is? Because a chick a stick is the inside of a Butterfinger. That's all that is. Toxic tells me everything. A Charleston, I know what Charleston shoes are. I know what those are. You've never heard of a chick a stick? What? You know what a chick a stick is? I'll eat a payday. Sure. But chick a stick is a Charleston shoes. I can't believe you're bringing those up. Um, a chick a stick is only, it's the inside of a baby Ruth, but it's like cylindrical. I tell her about American stuff we have. That's why she's saying this stuff. She doesn't know what it is. Shoes taste good out of the freezer. Belgian chocolate is good. Belgian waffles are good. You know, the problem with the Reese's, Reese's is good. It's just not big enough. Like if Reese's was like this big, right? It was like a Reese's, fine. But like one of them, and you take one bite, see, I got blood on me. And then you take another bite, and then it's gone. And then you got that second one. And you have all that space in between that's wasted in the package. Now, some of the Reese's stick things are real good. They are. Um, oh, I know what Rolos are, sure. Yeah. Um, 
A Milky Way? Man, I, you know, I'm sorry. I can't go with that. I, I would never choose a Milky Way. You know? Um, s s Kit Kats have, were always my favorite, even as a kid. I would eat two or three of those. Kit Kats are delicious. And the green Kit, Kit Kat that they have in Europe and they have in Japan, that one's pretty good too. If you see it, grab it. Because I've had that recently. I think that, I think I got that for Destiny and tried it. She she can eat anything she wants. Um, we got all flavor Kit Kats. Have you ever had crack? PL does not know what Cracker Jack is. Cracker Jacks are. She has no idea. She's never going to know what that is. Green tea Kit Kat. Is that what it is? It's a green tea Kit Kat. It's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. Matcha, strawberry, caramels, Kit Kats, you name it. Oh, coffee. No shit. Well, I feel like we're getting robbed here, but I don't really drink. I don't really eat candy anymore. Yes, I do. We buy it. You don't know what a, you don't know what Cracker Jacks are. Stop making shit up. I'll, hey, PL, do you have a uh, Genki Gone Turkey Cheese there? Do you? Do, do you get? Do you like Genki Gone Turkey Cheese? Do you know? What? I know you know my address, but do you? Do you what about Genki Gone and Turkey Cheese? Do you? Do you have that? Do you know what that is? Genki Gone Turkey Cheese. PL's not answering. She's probably on the internet trying to figure out what Ganky Gaunt and Turkey Cheese is. Do, do you all have that candy, yes or no? I've heard of it, not tasted it. Good answer, PL. Good answer. Hang on, they got a note. Hang on. She has showed me the, equi the UK equivalent of Walmart, which is also called Asada there. So is it Walmart with another name? Esta? What is it? I'm not making it up. Esta? Is, it, is that Walmart that you see? But Walmart's all over the world, isn't it? I thought there were, there's Walmarts in Taiwan. They have, um, what, what's, what's that one? Where you can join that's owned by Walmart, Sam's Club. They have Sam's Club in Taiwan, I believe. God, I cut my finger. It's Walmart, but associated dairies. I see. It is Walmart. A Walmart corporation. I wish I would have invested in that in the 70s. But in the 70s, I was a kid. I was investing in eating candy. We get everything. Oh, please. No, you don't. Come on. They don't wash eggs there. I don't really care about washing an egg. Destiny does. So if I make her eggs, I wash the eggs. But, well, if Kaki lays an egg and they're messy, I do. I run them out underwater. But I don't really make a big deal about it. Our eggs are brown, not white. Khaki's eggs are like off-white with a tinge of green, sometimes brown. We have brown eggs here. We have white eggs here, too. Um, you know, we, 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 we have everything here, PL. You know. Where's the dump? I've already been there. Look at the cars empty. We have everything here. Have you ever heard of SpaghettiOs, PL? Dinty more beef stew? I don't think so. I don't think so. Chicken and waffles, really? PL, you 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 wish you had some dinty more beef stew, don't you? 
Yes, SpaghettiOs, you don't know what those are, do you? Those are a health food. Right? They are. This time, I gotta go. At least that's what I thought. As a, SpaghettiOs were great. You should get a can. I know, you call them spaghetti lubes. Why? Why did you do that? You all with your silly names and everything? My phone's dying. I gotta go. I gotta go charge it. I'll, um... A live stream in a while. Retired from Chef Boyardee. Really, no shit. Anyway, thanks everybody. Talk to you soon.